Senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, has threatened to sue President Muhammadu Buhari over his refusal to sack service chiefs. The Nigerian government had insisted that the service chiefs would not be sacked despite calls from different quarters. However, Falano, in an interview, said the heads of security agencies in the country had exceeded the 35 years in service allowed by law. He said under public service rule, under the harmonized rules for military officers in Nigeria and under Section 6 of the Armed Forces Act, which empowers the president to make rules and regulations for the military, there is no provision for extension of tenure for service chiefs beyond the period stipulated by law. Joining us now in the studio is legal practitioner Liberus Oshoma. Thank you very much. My pleasure. For joining us. Of course, um, I was going to ask you a different question and then the one about the boss Mustafa saying that the yeah. president is not going to change his mind on this. Does that worry you? Yeah, yes, I, 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 boss Mustafa's statement um, um, can only draw two, two inferences. The one, if you sack the service chiefs, they are going to sabotage the effort. That's why he said that, you know, they need everybody on board now. And um, uh, you begin to ask yourself uh, if the service chiefs are the only people you know needed to fight you know the or you know to actually win the war against the um, insurgency militancy Boko Haram and all of that and and so the next question would be that yes if you need everybody on board is there any provision under our law that once the service chiefs you know, um, time in the military had lapsed, that he should still remain there if, since you need him on board. Also, if you need everybody on board, you can as well just go back and re-recruit -re all the retired service chiefs before now and bring them back in the military, you know, because you need everybody on board. It's, there are procedures, even if you need everybody on board. You know, the service chiefs had tried their best, they've done what they need to do, you know, we'll give them kudos, for the effort so far. But the, there are laws. The law of the land stipulates that once you clock 25 years, you know, you bow out honorably. And so it is time to pull them out and then allow fresh ideas. You well, know, that's why do those laws are there. But a situation where we now begin to play on sentiment, uh, uh, leaving out the law, and then it becomes, um, it becomes you know, a problem. With this position presented by a key member of this administration, doesn't that's, that... That's the position of government. Doesn't that rubbish the proposed suit by senior advocate of Nigeria, uh, yeah. Femi Falano, going to court? Well, even if he does go to court, this government has a precedence of not obeying court no, orders. You remember before now, um, the National Assembly will pass resolutions and then government would... Um, um, insists that you know these resolutions are mere advisory, you know. But if a court makes an order, that order is not mere advisory. It's you know binding on all parties, and and so to that extent, the government had made this position known. No matter the pressure, we are not going to koto or bow to anybody's pressure, insisting that the tenure of these people had expired. Uh, their time in the military, is, they are due for retirement, and, and so they should so retire. And so to that effect, since Femi Falana cannot, in, you know, compel the government, there's an institution of government that can compel the president to change his decision, and that institution of government is the judiciary. And that's why the, the Lenin senior advocate is saying, you know what, I'm going to approach the court to grant an order insisting that once a tenure or once um, somebody is due for retirement, that you cannot by fiat, except there's an amendment to the law, that you cannot by fiat extend the, 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 the time for retirement for that person, no matter how good, no matter the contribution he has made. Um, you can retain that person, you, you know, as a consultant, like um, Dr. Um, uh, what's his name again, was said. And, and so, so for me, really... But, but it's, considering it's, the, the precedence that has been set, even if um, Falano is able to get this court order compelling the government, uh, do you expect compliance, really, since uh, um, the Secretary of State government has made a position that, as at this moment, they cannot afford to let the service chiefs go? Because they can't afford to let them go because um, now it is, um, um, for them, you know, these are just pressures from people. And, you know, it's always very typical for government to label anybody that's opposed to their thinking as detractors. 
But if it's a cut of the land, you can no longer call the court a detractor. They might appeal. And like I always say, we house the matter and drag on until the expiration of their, their term, another four years. You know? But I think you know, we're in a country governed by law, and the best thing for the, uh, uh, the learned senior advocate at this point is to approach the court, which is what he has done. Let there be a definite pronouncement. Because also, um, it seems that um, some people would say there is a lacuna, even though I don't see a lacuna there. Uh, that since there is no definite pronouncement, and some, including the learned senior advocate, at some point had maintained that um, when he was um, romancing the government, that the government, the president can, you know, in his best interest, do some of these things that he's doing. And so they took all of those advice, you know, on the first level, and that's why you see them, you know, um, taking actions that are contrary to provisions of the law. And that's why they can tell you. I once confronted a very senior member of the party. When, who, who admitted that the president violated provisions of an existing law, but that he concluded that the president knows best. Okay. And, and, and so when you, you have that kind of mindset, they will tell you that the president can violate the provisions of the law, provided it's in the best interest of the country. Yeah, and, and national security, that's usually some of the yeah, yeah, um, excuses the, given. Yeah. But before I let you go, I'm told we have less than two minutes for this session of the news. Um, what more can the Nigerian Senate do in this matter? Yeah, the, the Senate um, has, um, I don't, I'm not, I know the House of Rep has uh, passed a vote of no confidence on the service chiefs. Um, the Senate also, I don't know if they've done likewise. And then, like we say, the government will say they are resolutions and may advisory. And um, I think the best way for us, it's what the Lenin Senior Advocate had done, let all parties be in court and let the court be timely or timeless in taking a decision on the matter and so that we don't begin to de 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 let them treat it as uh, you know, a pre-election matters and give, the, give it the speed that it requires. Thank you very much for your time on the news. Always my pleasure.